We've got something pretty special for you today. I'm not going to mess around. You saw the title. You clicked on the thumbnail. We both know why we're here. Welcome, bag nerd. And if you're not a bag nerd, hey, that's okay. Neither was I once upon a time. But it's bags like this, Attitude Supplies ADT1, that made me realize the potential and the beauty of better carry. So stick around. Hello, I'm Roland from Rush Faster, and at Rush Faster, we do guides and walkthroughs, bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. Today's video is sponsored by Rush Faster's new US store, but more on that later on. Yes, friends, this is Attitude Supplies ADT1, the legendary ADT1. It's now in its fifth production run, and it comes with some important updates. We're going to walk through all of the features of this bag all of the updates and what a bag like this means for the carrying industry. Now we'll go into what makes this bag so special in just a moment, but first a little bit about the company that made it. Attitude Supply is a company based in Milan, Italy, and they focus on bags, backpacks, and accessories. And the ADT1 backpack was launched by Kickstarter in 2018. Attitude Supply say that it's the result of years spent traveling, developing soft goods, and field testing them in cities, deserts, and forests all over the world. It was designed to be versatile, but then to spring it up to blend into any setting, spacious enough for lots of one bag travel, but then compact enough for EDC. The ADT1 is produced in batches, and each batch sells out pretty quickly. They iterate on each batch to improve things based on customer feedback, and with the bags and not available for purchase, Attitude Supply say that they get daily emails asking about when it's next going on SAP. The ATD version 5 or 5th production run features the most significant updates yet. The updates include a completely redesigned bottom construction with less slanted angle and even less stitches on the ground. Now as you can see, it's sort of, sort of sitting up on its own. Angled shoulder strap attachment points to contour even better to the human shape and a widened distance between the shoulder straps and the load lifters. Side stretch pockets which are usable even when the pack is full, roll top stiffeners, new ATD tail embroidery branding, aluminium hardware to quickly open compression straps, and a tunnel for rolling luggage handles. It's now made from challenge sail cloth and there are 100% post-consumer recycled polyester fabric. The outer fabric is EcoPack or EPLX600. It's a waterproof laminate and it features 600D fabric. You've got X-ply net and RUV film and the line fabric is RBC200 which is a 200D PU coated and eco-friendly C0 DWR treat and played weed. That's a lot of updates, now let's take a look at it. So the OTD1 measures at 50 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 26 centimeters or 19.7 inches by 12 inches by 10.2 inches. It's 23 liters and weighs 1.7 kilos or 3.72 pounds. But because this is an expandable roll top, there is another set of dimensions to measure. With the roll top fully expanded, the ATD1 measures at 70 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 26 centimeters or 27.5 inches by 12 inches by 10.2 inches and becomes 55 liters. So the design of this bag is interesting. It's a roll top, but there's also a clamshell, which isn't unique to this bag. We've seen something similar in the one to provoke but it does give you multiple ways to access your internal storage, which is my preference for a roll top. Being forced to always have to dig around the the, 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 the flappy bits, the roll top, which give all of its extra fabric, you're not always in a situation where that is the best way to access it, and it can become cumbersome. Now, just looking at this bag, it sort of looks simple and busy at the same time. It's a bag that is really only a single compartment, front pocket, and two water bottles, which is nothing crazy. But then there's also all these grab handles and compression straps and closure buckles all over the place. I think this look is modern, but I also see a bit of a nod to older, old school hiking packs. Overall, I think it looks good and it functions well. Now, when I'm using this bag in EDC mode, I do sometimes wonder if it's too big, but then I start to use it and it's functional, I carry it and it's comfortable. So I don't really notice the size being an issue. But when it's fully loaded and expanded, it, it is enormous. Now I'm showing you an exaggerated example, of course, but either way, it's a bigger bag. Now for reference, I have 5 million or 1.75 meters, and about 160 pounds or 72 kilos. Okay, so looking at the materials, the EcoPack EPL 600 has quite a bit of crinkle to it. It feels very sturdy and very premium. Imagine an X-Pack that has been coated in 600D nylon. This material is waterproof, so as long as your roll top is closed and the stitching holds up, your stuff will remain dry. And that stitching should hold up. This is one of the most masterfully constructed packs I have ever seen. They laser cut their fabrics for precision. All the stitching is tight and the lines are very clean. In fact, apart from the Bartek stitching on the back of the shoulder straps, the stitching is invisible. And this is interesting. Attitude Supply say they've had zero reports of a failed ADT1. You can see the logo is embroidered on the lower front of the pack there. 
I think that's nice and subtle. I'm happy with that. There's a front pocket here, which is hidden by a flap. Opening it up, we see it has its own volume and some organization. This is the only external pocket, so this acts as your quick access. As such, I keep things I need in there while I'm on the go. My AirPods Pro, my keys on this key leash, my sunglasses, my wallet. Now this wallet is worth talking about real quick because I think it's interesting. It's the leather AirTag billfold wallet from Geometric Goods. And in a world full of minimalist wallets, this stands apart as almost a statement piece. Bear with me. It's unapologetically thick. So thick in some places that they've used screws in the construction. Now undoing those screws actually gives you access to install an Apple AirTag. Anyway, it's a beautiful wallet, handmade from Italian veg tan, full grain leather. And I cannot wait to see how this ages and develops patina over time. Geometric goods, check out the link in the description for more. Anyway, back to that front pocket. I'm glad this pocket is hidden because it is in a slightly vulnerable spot smack bang in the middle of the back of the bag. I wouldn't be worried about pickpockets here in Australia, but if you are traveling to tourist spots known for their sticky fingered opportunists, maybe don't keep anything valuable in there. Instead, pop it in a much more difficult to access main compartment. And by difficult to access, I mean difficult to access for other people. You can access it just fine. The organization here is nice. They've solved a problem that a lot of vertical front pockets have, which is that everything falls to the bottom. So here you have a few pockets for keeping some things on the top, and some things on the bottom. There are also some smaller pockets for pens and maybe a wallet. And you can ignore all of that if you like, and it's unobtrusive. The material they've used for the organization and interior lighting is the RBC 200, and it's really nice. All the stretch parts of the A TD1 are double layered, so they should remain snappy for decades. Elsewhere on the outside of this pack, there are two stretch pockets. This one will easily hold a 750ml water bottle. In fact, they'll probably opt for a bigger water bottle if possible, as my camelback is swimming in there. I'm actually a little bit worried that it might fall out. You could use these pockets for a tripod or maybe a yoga mat. Nothing too tall though, as you are limited by the roll top closure overhanging on the sides and these fastening straps. But these compression straps on the side are well placed to secure any longer items that you may want to stash in these pockets. Those compression straps continue the trend of high quality material with some very sturdy webbing and metal G hooks. There's also an elastic loop with a velcro Velcro closure, which serve as strap keepers to make sure that everything stays nice and neat. Now, before we get to the harness system, I want to show you these grab handles, which offer a good amount of knuckle room, which is a thing. They feel firm, but they're well cushioned. They're easy to grab, then they're low profile enough that they remain discreet. They are on the top, sides, and bottom of the pack. There's also this row of webbing for attaching accessories, a bike light, a carabiner, a hat, or a helmet. Now, these shoulder straps are really something else. I'll start by saying that they are incredibly comfortable. The padding is very firm, much firmer than most shoulder straps, and they contour nicely. Attitude Supply has changed the angle of the shoulder strap attachment points to contour even better to the human shape, and they've also widened the distance between them and the load lifters. My best explanation of these straps to someone who hasn't used them is that they're like a luxury version of a mystery ranch shoulder strap. There's also a sternum strap, a hip strap, and loops for accessories. The back panel also has some padding, but no airflow channel or mesh. Now, I'm not a great person to talk to about heat or sweat because I'm always cold and I never sweat, but I imagine that could be an issue for some. There's plenty of back support from the removable lightweight curve, which is a self-reinforced polypropylene frame sheet, and there's a tunnel behind here that can be used as a luggage pass-through. The frame sheet is straight when it's new, but apparently it'll shape to your back with regular use and body heat. Okay, so let's talk about that roll top. But first, today's video is brought to you by Rushfaster's new US store. Yes, that is right. We have launched a US website stocking lots of the gear that we feature on this channel. That means that if you're in the US and watching our videos, you can now choose to buy directly from Rushfaster to support the channel even more. Alongside our Rushfaster branded gear, we're launching with a selection of our favorite brands, many more to come. So go check out rushfaster.com and keep us in mind next time you need some new gear. All right, the roll top. Okay, so roll tops are always interesting. My take on them is that they're great for keeping rain out of your pack, but a bit of a hassle to use. Now that's my take on roll tops in general. So I add that as a disclaimer ahead of this section of the video. So the extra roll top material allows this pack to go from 23 liters to a massive 55 liters. And that's a real bonus to anyone who's using this bag while traveling. We all know how easy it is to perfectly pack a bag before you go traveling and then pick up items along the way and not have enough space for them. So I'm all for that. But when it's not in use, it does mean that if you use the roll top to access the main compartment, you are battling through a long tunnel of material. Fortunately, there is another way to access the main compartment and we'll get to that in a minute. The way you close the roll top is interesting. There are roll top stiffeners which give the top some structure and help with the closure. There are two buckles anchored to points inside the stretchy side pockets that connect to buckles on the top of the roll top. You kind of feel like you're fastening a sail when you close this bag. I was concerned that this webbing was going to get in the way of whatever I had in the stretch pockets, and sometimes they do, but for the most part, it just works itself out. The reason they are inside the stretch pockets and not on the outside is because as you use more and more of this roll top, the angle of the webbing needs to change. 
So if we're on the outside, we would close the stretch pockets and make them completely unusable. As they are, it means you can still use those stretch pockets. You just have to make sure that they're positioned around whatever you're keeping in there. So if like me, you'd rather not use the roll top, you can actually access the main compartment using this S-shaped zipper on the back. This opens the bag clan shell. And here you'll see that glorious olive green interior and all the space that's available to you. This strip sleeve keeps laptops up to 16 inches suspended from the bottom. This material again, it just feels great. I've seen similar materials used on Belroy and Evergoods, but this is another level of refinement. It's just wonderful to touch. Now this material will probably protect your laptop against scratches, but maybe not dicks and dings from heavier items that you may have in your pack. That's why I'm using the Rushfaster laptop sleeve and it fits very well, thank you very much. This zippered area is for a removable frame sheet and you can see the cool self-reinforced polypropylene in there. There's also some care instructions and a nice little Italian flag to signify where it was made. Fun fact, my great-grandfather was Italian. Now apart from that laptop compartment, there is no organization. You do get a few inner loops to hang any pouches with pals and this loop here which could be used to mount a hydration bladder I suppose. I've set this up in daily carry mode so you'll see my usual set of pouches, one for tech, one for my personal items, my Black Metro umbrella, my Bruce laptop stand, Apple keyboard, sweater. But the great thing about a bag like this is with a big open space is you can pack it out however you want as a camera bag, as a travel bag, or you can fill it up with beer like we do in our Rush Faster beer capacity test and no surprises here it fits our whole case of beer and then sell. Now, if you haven't already signed up to our Rush Faster email newsletter, then you are missing out. Our free newsletter is delivered every two weeks and features all of the news that you need to know about the carry space, along with deals on fitted gear and all of our latest videos. Additionally, we give you the chance to win gear that we feature on this channel all the time, just by subscribing. So if that sounds like a good time, join the thousands of other subscribers and sign up now via the links in the description. Now, when the ATD wand is new, like this one is, I've only been using this for a couple of weeks, the materials are stiff, and rigid, but Attitude Supply say that these materials will stretch and conform to the body over time. Now, breaking in a pack is nothing new for bad nerds. The Go Ruck, for example, requires some breaking in. In fact, I've heard of people taking showers or even sleeping in their Go Rucks just to sort of soften them up. For the ATD one, though, Attitude Supply recommends loading the pack up, tightening the shoulder straps, and using it daily until it's formed to your body. It's like a good pair of jeans or a leather jacket. Now, I'm not sure if they've done enough gushing over the construction of this pack to sort of like really drive the point home, but this is a high quality pack. Possibly one of the best, no, definitely one of the, definitely no, <laughs> bear with me. This is the best quality pack that I've ever seen, that I have ever touched. The fabrics and the hardware are all very premium, verging on luxury. And then the laser cut patterns and the invisible stitching, it all feels very precise. It's a level of finishing that you don't see often in backpacks. This is like the Rolex of backpacks. Now, yes, you are paying for it. You get what you pay for. It's a very well-made pack. Is it worth it? It's up to you. Now, I've definitely seen lower quality collector's packs sell for a lot more on the second-hand market. So, you know, you could, you could do worse. Now, this isn't one of those packs that's gonna be for everyone. Pricing aside, this is a very big, very serious pack. You really need to have a use for those 55 liters. Otherwise, you are probably better off with a smaller bag. Now, Attitude Supply do have the ADT2, which is similar to this in a lot of ways, but is smaller at 18 up to 31 liters. It also has a more simplified roll top closure. Now, I love to see manufacturers iterate on their products after receiving customer feedback. I think that's the way to do it. Then you get a better bag get a better bag industry, you get happier customers. And while I haven't used the previous versions of the ATD one, this version, version five, feels very complete to me. Then there are one or two odd things about this pack, like the closure straps being inside those stretch pockets. Luckily, we haven't seen that on other bags. And then that front pocket, which is a little bit difficult to access while it's on the body, but then it's sort of vulnerable to pick pockets. But I do think that those are natural limitations of this design. The ATD one has made me very interested in what Attitude Supply are doing, and I'd love to see them make more bags in the future especially an EDC bag, a simplified one, preferably without a roll top. And the craftsmanship really is outstanding. I wasn't just being silly. And I could see an EDC pack with this level of craftsmanship being very popular. Now, when a manufacturer produces a bag like this, a bag that takes materials and construction to the next level, it benefits the entire carry industry. Yes, it's expensive, but it's not Gucci level expensive. So it does set a realistic standard for other manufacturers to aim for. And that makes everybody better. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out the ATD one with me. I'd be very interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions on this pack. So let me know in the comments, have you used one of these before? Will you be picking one up? And as always, there are links to everything featured in this video in the description below. And if you do make a purchase using one of those links, it goes a long way to supporting this channel at no extra cost to you. So hey, 
Thank you. And if you're into better gear and better ways to carry, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Share the video with a friend. Give us a like. Uh, what else can you do? You can comment, you can like, you can subscribe, and you can share. Yeah, that's all we're asking. But for now, I'm Roland for Rush Faster, and this has been the Attitude Supply ADT1 version 5. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.